Jeremy Stoppman is Yelp's founder and CEO. Jeremy, if I'm a business spending money on ads, why would I give you the money instead of Groupon? Well, the thing is, as users are deciding on local businesses, they're coming to Yelp to make that decision. So as they work through that funnel, they're searching, they're finding the right hair salon. Well, ultimately, they want to read what do consumers have to say, and that is uniquely on Yelp. So actually, Groupon, when they write those emails, often mentions, here's what Yelpers have to say. I've noticed that. They have fine writing in those Groupon sites. They, they, they think of that as a They pride yeah. themselves on their writing. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I don't pride them on their writing. <laughs> um, when, but you guys, uh, you, know, it's, it, it, you guys are often taken to task by your own customers, saying, why would I pay you money? You've heard this. Mm -hmm. Why am I going to pay you money to give you a forum to have some of my com crummy customers complain? I mean, the same thing exists on Google, right, where there are sites that are getting traffic, like Yelp, frankly, for free. But ultimately, businesses want more exposure, and Yelp can give them that at a very important point, right, when consumers are making that decision. That's the best time to get in front of them. How do you compare, because your offerings are different, but your market, market is the same, and I'm sorry to be so Groupon obsessed, but I am. <laughs> um, how do you compare the, the cost of doing business with Yelp to, a, again, to a local small business versus doing deals with Groupon? Well, we have a number of products to offer local businesses. So one is the advertising product, which increases your exposure. It's something that has a fixed price every month. It's very different than Groupon's core product. And then we have Yelp deals, which is a lot like Groupon. And it's something where we'll email out to the, the specific area that you're interested in, your deal, and consumers can buy it. But the next step right. is actually bringing that to our platform. So having deals that live on Yelp that are just there, that are essentially standing on the site. So as consumers find their way, as they're looking for local businesses, they can make a purchase. And Groupon sees it as incredible growth. We've seen their numbers. We haven't seen yours. What has your growth been like? And, and what's the, the trend presently? Uh, we've been growing at about 100% a year across the board. And that would be so, amazing in any other context if someone had us offered up. And, and so even as our numbers have gotten large, our, our growth continues. So it's a very exciting time for the company. We started expanding internationally. Mobile is, is going gangbusters, so we're having a lot of fun with it. Now, I know a bunch of investment bankers right up the street. I'm sure you, they, you haven't met any yet. Uh, you know, I know investment bankers out there, but we haven't chosen any bankers, if that's, if that's what you're asking. Well, no, I mean, I'm sure they're beating down the doors to take you guys public. Has that changed in the last, let's say, month since LinkedIn or, or week since the Groupon filing? I mean, certainly it feels like the IPO window has opened up and, and continues to widen. And, and so, you know, we've been looking at that and saying, you know, what is the right time for Yelp uh, to come out? Well, let me ask you, those, I ask the questions, you give the answers. What is the right time? You know, the right time, I think, is, is when we feel like we have a very solid footing where, you know, the business is predictable. We can deliver quarter over quarter for investors. Right. And I think that time is coming very soon. All right. Great. Jeremy Salpman, uh, Yelp. Uh, of course, we all use the site. We're glad to have you here to talk about it.